Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots Hats and Western Life Enthusiasts. Today I got a long term boot review for you from Lucchese. These are the Cradens. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> So here I got two Lucchese Cradens. These are the exact same boot, same toe shape, same everything. The only thing that differs between the two boots is the color. So here I got a 10, uh, which is my preferred color in those two. And here I got a dark grayish brown. Um, it's a really nice color too, I like it a lot. Uh, it goes really well with uh, light jeans and this one goes awesome with some dark wash jeans that I'm wearing right now but um, so let's get down to uh, to the construction of the boot so uh, the outsole is a leather outsole single stitch welt Goodyear and uh, it's actually one of the only boots that I've seen that doesn't have any nails at all no brass nails no lemon wood pegs nothing uh, then you got a leather heel, leather stacked heel with a um, rubber uh, heel cap on the bottom. Now, uh, this is a five toe, uh, as Lucchese calls it, their five toe, but it's, it's realistically a snip toe. Now, this is a older generation. Now, I heard the new one is called a 6'4 or something. It's, a, it's just basically a little bit taller and a little bit wider. It's not quite a seven toe, but it's it's kind of a, a little bit bigger than this snip toe uh, in length and, and width, um, or in height and in width, but essentially it's the same. Um, now, uh, it's got a mad dog goat for the leather and it's about a 12 inch shaft, regular cowboy heel. On the inside, it is cowhide lined with um, pretty distinctive seam, but that seam is uh, pretty well done. It doesn't rub or anything. And uh, for the insole, it's got a uh, piece of leather like a traditional piece of leather about a oh, quarter way through uh, from the heel up and then it's it's pretty nicely padded it's mostly uh, other soft leathers but it's it's a really comfortable boot uh, that's what I loved about it now this uh, this boot was handmade in Texas so it's not like uh, one of the ones that are made in Mexico that has that really tight last so one thing that I did love about this boot is the fact that even though it's a snip toe, I have other boots that are R toes, some that are, uh, you know, that round toe that are a little bit narrower, uh, not like quite like an R toe, but just a little wider. And these are more comfortable than all my other boots that are R toes or uh, round toes. So, I mean, they, they feel great. Uh, even my Lucchese Charles Cayman Belly that are a little bit more money and you know they have that little bit of a wider uh, looking toe these feel more comfortable they don't feel as restricted um, but I mean once you put them on they are really nice uh, this goat hide really conforms to your foot really well and I think that's one of the one of the great things and just the last is amazing now if you looked at this boot uh, one thing that I will say about it is that it cuffs up very easily and it'll clean off. Now, when you got a lot of those snip toes or these R toes, uh, since they got these, uh, these edges that are really sharp, uh, they get, you know, a naturally uh, kind of cut. Uh, the color doesn't last uh, as well on them as you could see on the heel. I've already scuffed them up some fierce and you know I haven't really worn these particular ones for too long um, also being the fact that they don't have uh, they don't have any lemon wood pegs I'm guessing uh, that is the reason why they are uh, kind of having this issue where there's a little bit of separation actually it's on this one 
there's a little bit of separation right here on the on the on the heel but that's not so bad i mean uh, when you get it resold you could always have your cobbler kind of put some lemon wood pegs or some some brass nails in there and just you know kind of have that done you could even have it done ahead of time i'm sure it's it wouldn't be an issue but you see they get pretty badly scuffed up but i like that it's kind of part of the personality i mean they're semi dress boot for me uh, i have a lot of exotics that i wear uh but as far as that it does get scuffed up a lot because it's kind of uh, soft and, and, and conforms very well. I think goat skin has a lot of good elasticity, but uh, at, that's what makes it conform to your foot. But at the same time, it also scratches up very easily, but it's a very tough hide. Um, so even if it gets you know scratched up and everything is just kind of part of the personality. And uh, I did just actually uh, put a little bit of uh, Big More on there or Big Four and uh, polish them a little bit so that's why they look a little bit nicer but when you do that they look a whole lot better but again they do get uh, scuffed up uh, rather easy uh, the shaft is nice and soft and it's uh, it's narrow so when you get your foot in the shaft uh, it's a little bit tight but once your foot actually gets through um, it, it feels great so if you ever put on those Mexican uh, Lucases with a really tight last these feel completely different so um they're really nice boot you got this uh, really nice cording over here oh sorry it's not cording it's a uh, it's it's mostly stitching and uh also a uh, nice little toe bug right in the front but man these boots they look really sharp and and, and they're very comfortable well let's go ahead and uh, try these on all right folks well I got both of them here. I got uh, the tan one and that grayish brown one right here. Decided I'm gonna try one of them uh, on each foot so you guys can see what both colors look like with uh, jeans resting up on top of them. So as I said, these are really tight going on because of that narrow shaft. But uh, once you get it past uh, the instep, they feel really nice. A little pop. Yeah, they're really comfortable right here. Uh, they're in the perfect place. They're literally expanding right here beautifully. This one I've had it for a little longer, so kind of is already broken in a little bit better. But both of them really feel great. One thing I do love about goatskin boots is that they uh, they're really nice and cool as far as temperature wise. So here we go. Boom. See how beautiful they look with that dark wash jean with that lot tan. There it is. That's the front image of them other side on the uh, brownish gray back side other side so they're really beautiful looking boots and they feel really great just really looks good with with the right fitting pair of jeans uh, snake toes always look really good, but if they could feel good too, that's a double win. Well, let's get back on top. So here's my conclusion on these Lucchese Creighton Mad Dog Goat boots. So these boots are coming in at $550 from the Lucchese website. Maybe you could shop around, find them a little bit cheaper. Now I know that's a little bit of uh, of money to spend on a on a on a pair of uh, goat skin boots, but um, when you're talking about getting a pair of boots from Lucchese, you're going to be spending a little bit more money. And I think they're a better value than any of their Mexican made boots uh, that uh, have that narrow last. Now there's nothing wrong with uh, Mexican made boots. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm very fond of Mexican made boots. But as far as Lucchese, their uh, Mexican made boots are a little bit too narrow. Now these ones, like I said, they're made in Texas 
and they fit amazingly. Uh, so if you're looking for a very comfortable pair of boots uh, and you're looking for a pair of Lucases, I think for the money, these are the best bang for your buck Lucases. Uh, getting you know them at five hundred fifty dollars, that's that's a lower price point for Lucasi, and uh, just getting a really nice pair of boots. Now, again, some of my things that I'm not too fond of is not having any uh, brass nails. I think that would have you know maybe improved them a little bit. They do get scratched a lot, but that is something that does happen with uh, goat skin. It is a softer leather but again it does conform way better and it is a tough hide um so they could take it you know if you like that personality that's great uh the heels the the heel cap by the way uh that really rubs down really fast so if you're uh, prone to actually uh running these down you're gonna have to replace them often uh also the stack leather heel maybe if you got a cobbler that could touch them up often if you don't want to see them get so scuffed up they do get scuffed up really easily but again I don't care that's part of the personality I like it um, and you know another thing I mean if you if you polish them you know some of these cuff marks kind of go away but you know and it just kind of just leaves a personality another thing that I I think that they could have done a little bit better was make a stronger heel uh, counter because this one, it's, it's, it's not the softest that I felt, but it's definitely not hard. Now, this is the heel counter of the, of the one that I didn't have for so long. Here's the one that I've had for a little longer. If you look here, it's starting to kind of slouch a little bit, as you guys could see. So that just kind of uh, telling you that these... Uh, heels are not as uh these heel counters are not as as strong as they should be uh you see like you're gonna get little little cuts and little mark like this but again that is not going to hurt the boot per se uh the boot's going to conform to your foot just fine so um my my last uh, thought on these boots is that if you're looking for a pair of flukases and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money give these a try i think you'll like them a lot uh they're really nice boots and for Lucchese, they're a really good price. So that is all I have for you guys today. If you guys like this video, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more things coming up. Also, if you, uh, if you have these boots, please leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know how you like them. If you agree with any of the points that I've made or disagree with any of the points that I made, uh, let me know. Uh, also, let me know if you're actually looking to purchase a pair of Lucchese's and if these are somewhere right up your alley i really want to know all that information you know and and i'm sure other people looking for the boots are uh, are interested to know about that too well that is all i have thank you and have a wonderful day